Welcome to lesson one of part one of advanced jazz improvisation. In this first etude, uh, we're going to be showing you how to play some common blues motifs over the blues progression, uh, which is probably one of the most common chord progressions in jazz. I'm going to be showing you how to play some common blues motifs, some double timelines, and some ideas that I use in my own improvisation. So this etude is going to start off uh, with just a common blues motif over the B flat seven, the one chord. And then we have another motif um, that's going to be coming out of the B flat minor six kind of ideas. All right, so we've got kind of a blues scale sound, but also the sixth of the scale is added. And then we have some more double stops between uh, the third and the fifth of the chord. And then moving to the four chord, we uh, kind of changed that motif a little bit to fit the E flat seven. So, so that was on the B flat seven. Now we move to, so lower the D to D flat to fit the flat seventh of the E flat seven. And then we adapt that uh, idea to fit the E diminished seven. So. double time line that's going to fit uh, as a line into the the two minor seventh chord so so I go up a uh, a flat major seven arpeggio and that's going to imply a D minor seven flat five sound so kind of the progression going on um, after the four chord is D minor seven flat five to G seven altered so we've got So we lead into the major third of the G7, go up B diminished seventh arpeggio. So one more time. And then uh, this is kind of a scale that I use quite a bit, and we'll get into this in, in later uh, parts. So this scale is going to be a uh, like the fifth mode of C harmonic minor, but with an added passing tone. So we're going to have a G flat added. And then we add more chromaticism on top of that to connect ideas and connect chord tones. So we've got. And then this idea is going to be outlining kind of a D flat seven, which is the tritone sub of G. So. And then we go back into that G scale. Um, so that's an idea that I use a lot is going between uh, your original dominant chord and a dominant chord to try tone up um, just to create more movement on one chord sound. So. And that brings us into the fifth of the two minor chord. Um, and then we 
have a uh, common jazz motif. So this is an idea that um, improvisers like John Coltrane use a lot. So, so you're taking a C minor uh, triad and then playing this idea where the C is lowering uh, by half step. So, so it's kind of a line cliche idea is what that's sometimes called to lead into the third of the F7, so C minor, F7. So, and there's that scale again. So notice the flat 13 and that passing tone as well. That's the F uh, version of that, that scale that we used on the G7 chord. And then we end that chorus with another uh, common blues motif, so. So that uh, adding that six to the blues scale kind of sound is, is super common. So then we start the second chorus with another uh, common blues motif, kind of the same way that we started the solo. So, so just with that double stop between F and A flat. And then uh, we have another double stop idea. So that's between the root um, and the fourth of the scale and trilling between the fourth and the flat five of the B flat blue scale. So, and then we have an idea that's going to outline a two five progression into the four chord. So that'll be F minor seven to B flat seven to E flat seven. So, so I go up an A flat major seven arpeggio. So that's giving me an F minor nine kind of sound. And then I have this motif that happens uh, throughout the B-flat scale. So. And that leads me into the third of the four chords. So then I go up. So this is an arpeggio I use a lot on dominant chords. This is going to be a G minor seven flat five. So that gives you the third of E-flat seven, the fifth, the flat seven, and then the nine. And then I have an approach into the root of E flat seven. So, so far we've got. So after I, after I target that flat seven with that chromatic approach, I go up a uh, D flat major seven arpeggio, approach the fifth of E flat seven. So, and then I go up the scale, so. So still an E flat seven. And then I have this idea of going down a six and then kind of going back up to where I started. So D flat, down a six within the E flat seven scale, and then up to C. So then I'm going back into a B flat seven idea. So this time, instead of playing that three six into the two chord, I'm going to play uh, one into six. So that's another common substitute. So, so this idea, there's that scale again, again on uh, G7 this time. So there's the passing tone and there's the flat 13. And there's that uh, B diminished seventh arpeggio again on G7, giving you the third, fifth, flat seven, flat nine, and that brings us into the two chord, C minor, and then we play this idea that's going to, so that's approaching E flat on a C minor seventh chord, so, so that's kind of an E flat major seven arpeggio decorated with, with the ninth added, so. So we go up the scale, landing on uh, A flat. So then we're gonna play this substitute progression. So this is going to be F sharp minor seven to B seven. So that is a substitute for the F seven. So instead of just playing uh, B seven, which would be the tritone substitute, you add the two chord of B seven in front of that. So instead of just having B seven, so we've got, So that's outlining F sharp minor, B7. So, and 
then we're going to send uh, kind of a decorated B flat blues scale. So we've got the major third, the flat five, fifth, and the rest is just kind of a B flat uh, pentatonic idea. So. Right, so we land on the root, and then we're playing more um, more bluesy stuff in this last chorus than we have in, a, in the other choruses. So, so there's that sixth again. That's a common sound again. So that's just a trill between the fourth and the flat five of the scale. So you hear a lot of players playing out of this kind of shape. And then uh, we play that as kind of a key center approach over every chord change until we get to the 2-5, right? So uh, over the 2-5, we're playing a substitute progression again. This time we're going to have D flat minor 7, G flat 7, C minor 7, F7. So in order to outline that progression, I'm playing. So this is kind of a E major 7 arpeggio over that D flat minor seven, right? And then, oop. And then I connect into F7. And then I end the etude with this uh, B flat minor six idea again, so. So there's the six, there's the six again, there's the six again. So that's Etude 1. Thanks for watching. Before you go, are you an intermediate guitarist? Have you stopped making progress and you don't know how to get to the next level? Go to Pick Up Music. We're the only site that specializes in guitar lessons for intermediate guitarists.